Hey, hey, ça vous fait YouTube Je suis Suzuki, je suis très content de vous retrouver pour la suite du Let's Play de Legend of Heroes Cold of the Steels 3. Ça fait un moment d'ailleurs que j'ai commencé le jeu. J'ai commencé en juin dernier, le 26 juin pour être précis. Je ne dis pas de bêtises. Et depuis, c'est vrai que j'ai n'ai pas trop eu le temps de, de m'y remettre. Et... Euh, voilà. Ah oui, je vous avais fait une, je vous avais fait une rétrospective du jeu. Je sais pas si vous vous souvenez. On avait pu voir, euh, bah, dans l'épisode précédent, on avait pu voir tout le Trace of Cold Steel. J'ai pas fait le résumé du Trace of Cold Steel 2 parce que à mon avis, ça va être assez long aussi. Ça a quand même été nombreux à regarder le, le résumé. Peut-être une autre fois. En attendant. On va prendre la suite. Que s'est-il passé entre temps Ben, il y a eu euh, le RPG Fairy Tail, il y a eu euh, The Last of Us seconde part, il y a eu Ghost of Tsushima. Voilà. Tout ça sur les autres consoles et sur euh, Nintendo Switch, pas. Après, ce qui est bien dans ce Call of Duty, c'est qu'il est entièrement traduit en français. Leaves. Leaves. We will be for... Putain, mais c'est hyper fort Les gens, les mecs se disent euh, comment on va faire pour que ce soit le plus fort possible. C'est marrant, du coup, je suis super frais sur l'histoire du Call of Steel 1. Euh, J'arrive à voir dans la tête l'histoire du Call of Steel 2. Je me rappelle du début de celui-là. Valimar, le paladin cendré. Have we nearly arrived? Yeah. Sorry I had to be cooped up in Gorelia Fortress this past month. And I'm sure this isn't exactly a first class. <laughs> Not to worry. This is some while resting. The drain on my head. Besides, if it will reduce. <laughs> you know, uh, thanks, fellow. You are welcome. Je suis surpris. J'ai pas mis les voix en, en japonais. Mm, is this it? Aha! Uh -huh. Sure is. <sighs> I don't know what all the fuss is about. Huh? Picture that. Wow. I'd heard about him, but seeing. I wonder what they're doing here. A seven ards tall humanoid weapon. Panzer soldats or something. No, I don't think so. Oh, this is the Ashen Knight, isn't it? Get out of here. Yeah, you're exactly right. I wouldn't have expected a civilian to know that. Much less someone from outside Arab. <laughs> Let's... A little? Your whole family goes nuts for this kind of stuff. But how do you know we're not from around here? You have just the tiniest sliver of an accent. I'm guessing you're from somewhere down south? Liberal, maybe? Is it that easy to tell? <laughs> Bingo. So what? That makes you the ashen... Yeah. I'm surprised you knew that too. Vous voulez essayer de voir si je pouvais avoir les voix en genre. Um... Schwarzer, are you back here? Oui. 
We'll be arriving in five minutes. Hmm? All set. I'm good to go. Sorry for holding you up. That's right. Thanks for talking with us. Who are those two? They didn't appear to be your everyday civilians. They're from Liberal. I guess they're getting off soon, too. Something tells me I'll be seeing more of them at my new job. Oh, is that so? I admit, I have heard the rumors. Now arriving at Leave Station. Leave Station. We will be stopped for 10 minutes to unload. Ça me rappelle Sakura Wars aussi, Tyson, où t'as un gros robot dans une, dans une gare. Huh. It would appear little has changed. The Ashen Knight is as beloved by the masses as ever. <laughs> well, I, uh, I've turned down all the interview requests. It's little wonder then. For a young hero like yourself, such... The rumors of your role in the Northern War have, by this point, far... <sighs> My apologies. No, it's all right. It's just something I'll have. Thank you, Patrick. For the last year, no, last two years, you've helped me out more times than I can. Well, that would. <laughs> I have simply been performing. Of course, I could spare some consideration for a hap, one who has unreasonable tasks. And you said I would. You're serving as the deputy of the Marquis's family. I'm sure that's no walk in the... But of course. I recommend you do the same for whatever may come at you. And seeing as she is not so terribly, perhaps you... Thanks again for all your help, Patrick. But that's an entirely different matter. No. <sighs> Take care. Hope to see you again soon. Indeed. Oh yes, it nearly slipped my mind. About that pledge Class 7 made one. I hope to see it come to fruition. Oh. Un bruit de RER. Hein? Yeah, I hope so too. Here I am. I've never been to the suburbs west of Heimdall before. Almost reminds me of Trista. Trista. I wonder how everyone who's still there is doing. 
I never would have dreamed something like that would happen. That must be it there. I can tell it's brand new even from here. They said they take Valimar to the hangar on sight. Reen? Huh? Don't do you justice. You look so mature now. Did you get taller too? I almost didn't recognize you. Uh. Oh, did you not recognize me either? <laughs> I definitely haven't gotten taller, but I'm hoping my new work. Oh, or maybe. Uh, oh. hmm? It's just, uh, well, we haven't seen each other in a while, and I could never... Then you just show up out of nowhere, dressed for work, in the same town I'm about to start work? <laughs> I never imagined we'd end up working at the same place. Sorry. I didn't mean to surprise you. I thought you already knew. Well, a lot happened before graduation. I'm sure you've heard all about it. Of course. It was actually one of the reasons I decided to come here. But it sure was a nice surprise to hear you'd be joining me. Same for me. Well, anyway. Congratulations on graduating, Rain. I'm sure there are plenty of other people who want to say that, but I figured I'd do it before anyone- Thanks, Toa. Wait, do you want something more professional, like Ms. Herschel now? <laughs> Don't worry about it. Toa is just fine. Remember what I said when we first met? There's no need for formalities with me. Miss- <sighs> She hasn't changed a- So, Toa. You've been here a little while now, right? What's her new workplace like? Hmm. Well, I'm sure they told you a bunch of different things when you accepted your position. But I think this job is going to turn out to be a lot more difficult than you expect. Will it? I've been mentally preparing myself for the worst. I just hope I'm ready. Have you already met all of our colleagues? Yeah, we've all met. You're the last to arrive. I'll introduce you to them. But brace yourself, okay? <laughs> I feel like the butterflies... It, it's okay. I'm in the same boat as you. Let's work together as fellow graduates of Thor's and get through this. <laughs> Roger that. Oh, we're here. The color's different, but it's nice they kept the horned lion crest. Mm hmm This is the main entrance to our new- Welcome, Reen. To the newly established Thor's Military Academy branch campus in Leeds.
Ring Schwarzer, welcome. I am Michael Irving of the Railway Military Police. Branch campus though it may be, I will do my utmost to serve as Chief Instructor. Well, well. Lucky me. Didn't expect to run into such a celeb at a place like this. Name's Randolph Orlando. Got transferred here from the Imperial Army Crossbell Unit. I've been hearing your name all over lately. Pleasure to finally meet the man himself. <laughs> Reen. I'm Reen Schwarzer. Just a rookie who recently graduated from Thor's main campus. Pleased to meet you, Major Irving. Likewise. It's an honor to be able to work with the famous Ashen Chevalier. But keep in mind, we're not looking for heroics from Divine Knights here. We're only interested in your aptitude as an instructor. Understood. He's from the Railway Military Police. I certainly didn't expect to find a ranking officer like him working here. Not to mention... That look tells me you know a bit about my sordid backstory. Been peeking through the Intelligence Division's files, I take it. Yes, I can't deny it. From what I could tell, it was a pretty complicated situation that sent you here. Haha. <laughs> Not as complicated as yours, I'm sure. Anyway, all of us instructors are here now. Major, Instructor Randolph, I'm looking forward to working with you. Indeed. I'm curious to see what you'll bring here. Especially after you turn down a position with us. Oh, that's so? You must be better than you look for the RMP to roll out the red carpet. I heard you graduated early. What are you, like 17 or something? Um... Actually, I'm 21. W what? Nah, -uh. you're seriously only three years younger than me? Four instructors. That's about what I was expecting, honestly. Are we going to teach the entire curriculum among us, though? Correct. There aren't many students, but it will still require great work on our part. Training, lectures, all manner of miscellaneous tasks. We will, however, receive assistance from the special- We have a special advisor? And what's our principal like? Well, let's just say that out of all the people, I never thought I'd meet someone quite as- Really? not to be too shocked, okay? You've actually met her before, Rain. Thank you for waiting. Oh. Speak of the devil? Whatever is that slack-jawed expression?
I believe we met during the Civil War. Or have you already forgotten my face? Not that I give a whit either way. No, of course not. It's good to see you again, Professor Schmidt. I've always appreciated how you helped me with Valimar's Tachi. As I said before, save it. Though my title is Special Advisor, I plan to focus only on my re- Do endeavor to make yourself useful to me, Schwarzer. Or <laughs> huh. He was one of Professor Epstein's disciples, right? Or maybe not. You sure he ain't some faker? <sighs> I never imagined I would meet you here. Oh, it's been about half a year, hasn't it, Schwarzer? Well, since we've all gathered, allow me to say a few words about my... During the Civil War, I was the general of the defeated Noble Alliance. I then oversaw the Northern War resulting in the annexation of North Ambria. But you may think of me as Aurelia Le Guin, principal of Thor's branch campus. <gasps> Green? All that packed into one woman. Guess it's not so crazy for you to be here after all, eh, Major? Hmm. Uh, principal Le Guin, it's time. Yes, let's begin. Herschel, gather up our fledglings and bring them to the grounds. Y yes ma'am! Bah. All righty. Let's see what kind of guys and gals we got. Schwarzer, see to it you aren't late. L late? To what? To our entrance ceremony, of course. What? I had no idea. <laughs> that would be because we set the date and time without telling you. You'll even be meeting your fledglings there. Exciting, no?
show them what it means to be the Ashen Chevalier. It's starting to seem like the rumors about this place being difficult. All right then, I should probably put these on. Woman. Isn't she the Golden Rakshasa? And that black-haired guy! Whoa! He's super famous! Huh, it's him! <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> oh dear. How unexpected. Ashen Chevalier. No way. What? That girl is... Attention! I will have silence! We will now begin the entrance ceremony for Thor's Military Academy's branch campus. The opening speeches will be omitted. We will begin by announcing class assignments. First, Class 8, Combat Tactics. The instructor is Randolph Orlando. Right. Step forward when I call your name. Jessica, Wayne, Sydney, Maya. 
Ash, Freddy, Gustav, and Leonora. You eight. <laughs> Next, Class 9, Military Finance. The instructor is Toa Herschel. Um, I'll call out names now. Sandy, Kyrie, Tita, Louise, Tatiana, Valerie, Muse, Pablo, and Stark. There are nine of you in total. <laughs> class 8 and Class 9. Combat tactics and military finance. Then the ones left over are... Silence! We will now have a word from our principal. Principal, if you would. Huh. I am Aurelia Le Guin, principal of the Branch Campus. As some of you are new to Erebonia, not all of you may be familiar with my name. That, however, is of little concern to me. A few of you may have noticed already, but I'll spell it out for the rest. This school is a trash bin. Hmm. Thor's main campus will be welcoming the Crown Prince this year. As such, it will go through heavy reform. This campus is a place they can toss aside those deemed too troublesome, or those with problematic backgrounds. Just like that, all of you, our instructors, and even myself, are here because we have been tossed aside. <sighs> Hey, now. No, Principal Le Guin. That is far too... However, there is a saying. Be ever vigilant as though the world is a battlefield. Such a mindset is difficult to learn in times of peace. However, the situation we find ourselves in is a perfect environment for it. Those who lack the resolve to better themselves, to reforge themselves in the fires of adversity, leave now or you run the risk of leaving later, in Adios's arms. Very well. In that case, I welcome each and every one of you to Thor's Military Academy's Branch Campus. Arise, O oh youth, and become the foundation of the world. I greet you with these familiar words from Emperor Dreykels. Well, I'm nice and overwhelmed now, but... Just where are we supposed to go? <sighs> General, um, Principal, could I get you to announce the final class? <sighs> huh? Very well. We'll be picking up after the main campuses, classes 1 through 6, with our own classes 7 through 9. The three of you make up class 7, Special Operations. Your instructor will be him, Reen Schwarzer.
I looked over the blueprints, but I didn't think it'd be this big. Don't get so excited. This facility is nothing remarkable. As I explained before, much of your duties will be performed here under my direction. I expect nothing short of raw talent from a Russell. Uh, yes, sir! So, she's a student here after all. I could swear I've heard the name Russell somewhere before. But more importantly... That we're class 7 is clearly no coincidence. Only three students, and she's one of them. Combat tactics and military finance are undergoing their orientations at the moment. Special operations will be having an orienteering exercise. You must make it through this facility in one piece. <laughs> in one piece? What does that mean? What is this building for? It's called Einhell Keep. It was built in conjunction with the branch campus for testing new methods of training. The interior is fully controllable via orbital technology and features variable difficulty levels. As for your exercise, you will be combating monsters and such unleashed within the keep. What? M monsters That's a joke, right? Now I understand. Special operations, indeed. I guess this is a fitting enough exercise, given our class's name. And it's not just for my students, either, is it? It helps that you're quick on the uptake. That said, don't assume it will be the same as the Class 7 you were part of. Rather than an experimental clash between social classes, this one will act as an established task force for assignments in the field. And as its instructor, you will have your students see each assignment through. It's all starting to come together. H hold on just a second! We did what you said and came here, but what the heck is all this crap? This is just... <sighs> I mean, no one ever told me I was being put in some shady Black Ops squad. Your placement in Class 7 is the result of your aptitude test, Cadet Crawford. If you are dissatisfied, you have the option to pack your bags and return to the Military Police Academy. <laughs> That's all the way in Crossbell. I've yet to accept the situation, but I understand it now, at the very least. Can you give us more details? Certainly. Instructor Schwarzer and the three of you will enter the keep and stand by for further instructions. While on standby, they will explain their qualifications as you brief them on the use of the Arcus II. Understood. Bah! Finally, we can begin the trial. Disciple candidate, don't dawdle. Everything must be up and running in ten minutes. Yes! Damn, looks like this school's even more messed up than I'd heard. I'd prefer if non-affiliates stayed off the premises. <laughs> Take it easy. I ain't here to cause trouble. As soon as she's done with her orientation, I'm getting the hell out of here. Very well. You may have been referred here by the royal family, but don't forget your place. That extends to any actions you and your friends will take in the Empire from here on out. <laughs> I'd say that's up to you guys, you know? You got a whole country up to its neck in plots and schemes, and then a screwed up school like this pops up out of nowhere. Really makes you wonder who's pulling the strings around here. I suppose I should have expected as much from an A-rank bracer.
A facility full of untested mechanisms certainly sounds like a playground for the professor. So how much do you already know? Nothing too specific. The above ground portion is a cube measuring 50 arch on each side, and the below ground area is still being expanded. Hmm? Are the two of you already acquainted? We are. I just had no idea she'd be one of my students. But that's neither here nor there. Let's start with introductions while everything's being prepped. I just got here earlier today.